Hey everybody, uh, it's me, Super Paul Games, and welcome to Regarding Alistar. This seems like a sexy adventure. Let's start a new game. Oh, great orc balls. Uh, Rui of the Sword. Heal, please! Fiona Wiggs casts Holy Light. Rule of Sword. Thanks! No problem. But are you really sure we can do this? What do you mean? Rule of Sword uses Blade of a Hundred Strikes. We've been fighting for so long, I think this boss might be too much for us. Are you kidding me? I hardly has any LP left. I'm the fucking balls, yo! Rui of Sword uses Swift Slash. But I'm almost out of MP, and I don't have any more recovery potions. Maybe we should train more before we try this boss again. But I really want that blessed stone! It's mine! Rui of Sword uses Blade of a Hundred Strikes. Besides, it's almost out of HP! I bet I could get it with one more attack! But aren't you out of skill points? Don't worry! It'll only take a minute to recharge and I can take him down with another swift slash! If you say so... Alright, I'll charge it up! Here I go! Rui of Sword uses swift slash. Alistair uses Blade of Darkness! Alistair has defeated the troll of Mount Morning! Who's Alistair? Who the fuck is that? Who are you, dude? You look cool, but who the fuck are you? I'm gonna stop a second. I shouldn't. I really like the artwork, whoever designed this. Elster has received a blessed stone. Really of sort. Ellipses! What the fuck was that? Hey, you, Alistair! Huh? That was my kill, you fucking fuckwad! Oh, fuck the sensor! Really, come down before you get a warning from the global moderator. Yeah, Rui, you wouldn't want the mods to come down on you. Shut up! You're the reason I'm mad in the first place! Oh, why is that? You know very well! You stole my kill! You know the Blessed Stone is rightfully mine! Meh, meh the way I see it, I saved you from getting killed in a boss battle. Saved? Saved me?! He was about to strike and you were too busy powering up to notice. And from the looks of your friend's stats, she doesn't have enough magic points to resurrect your lame ass. If I hadn't come along when I did, you'd find yourself waking up in some strange town with 15% less experience. <laughs> You're welcome. I'm not thanking you, you idiot! Oh! Fiona and I were doing just fine on our own, and I want that blessed stone! Well, it's mine. No, it's mine, and I want it back! Rule of Sword has challenged Alistair to a duel. Are you sure you want to do this? Don't tell me you're scared! I just feel bad beating you down, that's all. I hate beating women, but I'll do it. Well, you didn't have to worry about feeling bad about that! If you insist. Alistair has accepted really of the Sword's challenge. Connecting to PvP Arena. Disconnected from server, exiting game? I stare at the screen in shock. Now, uh, if you didn't notice, I'm playing a woman. Um, when I do the internal monologue, I'm just going to use my own voice. I stare at the screen in shock for a few moments, trying hard not to let out a scream. Finally, I slam my hands down on the table. The keyboard in front of me shakes, and the student using the computer next to me stares at me in surprise. What? I glare at him, and he quickly looks away. Thought so. The computer lab is surprisingly empty right now. I glance at the clock on the wall. Lunch will be over in ten minutes. Figures, I always lose track of time when I'm playing Rivenwell online. Still darn, this school spotty internet connection, I bet that I automatically forfeited the duel. That Alistair jerk must think I'm some sort of coward. I refresh the screen, but the blinking message on my monitor informs me that there's still no internet connection. It's a good thing she's not actually doing schoolwork. She's busy playing games at school. Ugh, what if it's not a clean disconnect? Alistair could be hacking away at poor defenseless Rui. I bet he would. I have to get back online right now, but it's not like refreshing my screen over and over is going to make things magically work. I need an expert, and like now, I scan the computer lab looking for someone who might know what they're doing. Aha! At the far end of the lab, leaning back in a dark corner, a guy is typing away furiously on his machine. I think I've seen him before. He's here and he's in here a lot, especially when the computer games club has meetings. I quickly approach him and flash my most charming smile and my boobs. Hello? He doesn't respond. Um, hello! I, I heard you the first time. Then why didn't you answer me? 
WHY DID YOU IGNORE ME?! I, I, I didn't ignore you, I, I heard you, I nodded. No, you didn't! No, you just weren't paying attention. Is this conversation going anywhere? Oh, uh, this guy is so rude! No wonder he spent so much time with the computers. I bet he doesn't even have a girlfriend. Yeah, what? Because the only thing that matters in life is if you have a girlfriend or not. Um, yeah, you're, you're in the computer games club, right? He raises an eyebrow as if I just ask a painfully stupid question. Our lead character may be painfully stupid. Uh, I'm the president of the computer gaming club, Travis, or haven't you noticed? I thought it was pretty prestigious. Everybody knows about that. Oh, I didn't know. I'm surprised you're always here in the lab playing your silly little game online while we're meeting. But I suppose you've never bothered to pay any attention to us, though. Otherwise, you would have known how important I am. Yeah, right. Sure. How on earth do the other members put up with this guy? So, uh, do you know how to fix, like, computers or something? His eye twitches only slightly, but it's obvious that he's annoyed. Maybe? Well, the internet's down! Travis lets out a long sigh, rubbing the sides of his head slowly before he turns to face me. Uh, listen. Meru! I, got, I don't know how to pronounce your name, that's what we're going with. Uh, yeah, Meru? He shakes his head as if he doesn't really care. Fixing computers does not work the way you think it does? He measures each word out slowly and carefully as, he, as if speaking to a small child. What should I do? Argue with him. Why not? We've been an asshole up to this point. I know computer, how computers work! I'm just asking to see if you can get the internet working again! I just want to play my game! Is that too much to ask? Y you, you know what? Yes. Yes it is because it's not my network, okay? You kind of scared me there. Oh, so all the times that you were... That there were computer problems during your club hours and you rushed off to fix it and magically became your network? Wow, I'm becoming a total cunt to him. Um, believe it or not, I was paying attention, bitch! Fixing a computer issue is different from rebooting a network connection. But seeing as you hold so much faith in me, I'll see what I can do about the internet connection if you can solve a quick puzzle for me. A puzzle? I like puzzles! Yeah, I, I imagine you're in one of your silly online games, and there are two classes, Knights and Demons. Uh... Knights and Demons are exactly the same in all ways but one, and Knights always tell the truth, and Demons always lie. So? You run into two of these guys, and you know that one must be a Knight, and one must be a Demon. How? He rolls his eye. <laughs> you, you just do, okay? You just do. Anyway, you're only allowed to ask one a yes or no question. How do you figure out which is the knight and which is the demon? Um, you ask him if he's a knight? Rod, now if you excuse me, I have to get to class. I suggest you do the same. Oh, I didn't get to answer it myself. I did like the same kind of riddle in the uh, King Arthur game. Wait, is there even a right answer? I gotta know! I, I wonder. He grabs a messenger bag from his gro from the ground, slings over his shoulder, and walks off. Before I have any time to think about his puzzling longer, the warning bells ring. I grab my books and dash off to class. I slide into the empty seat left in the class just as the bell rings. Woo! Safe! The teacher begins her lecture, and I similarly ignore her, contenting myself with doodling a series of flowers on my hand out. I like flowers! I like flowers! That's how I imagine what she's doing. She's like, la 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 flowers! <laughs> While the teacher tries to teach. Oh, I don't have enough voices. Since we've just concluded our section on ancient civilizations, we'll be doing a term project on it. You'll be split up into teams of two. Whoever is sitting at the table with you will be your partner. I hated doing team projects. I glance at the person next to me, sitting next to me. He's huddled up in the corner, staring mindlessly out the window. Is he sleeping? Yeah, because you sleep with your eyes open, look out the window. You and your partner will submit an eight-page report and give a five-minute presentation on the topic of your choosing. Can I pick boners? I'm a girl. I love boners. I will give you the rest of the class to discuss an appropriate topic with your partner. Great, a project with some sleeping kid. He better not make me do all the work. I turn to face him, but he appears to be awake, and he's completely spaced out. That's actually how I was in school a lot. Ah, <laughs> uh, hey. I wave my hand, trying to get his attention. I'm Meiru. Uh, we're supposed to work together. Yeah? So, uh, what's your name? 
Shiro? Cool! Nice to meet you! He's still not looking at me. In fact, he's staring so hard at the window, I'm starting to wonder if the meaning of life is written on it or something. <laughs> Such like a teen girl game thing. He's like, I'm thinking about things like flowers and going home and playing games, and she's like, Is he gonna notice me? <laughs> Are you okay? His face flushes a bright red. Uh, I'm fine, yeah, why? You don't look okay, are you sick? She lacks subtly, subtlety or tack. No, I just, uh... He glances to the side and shifts uncomfortably. We should pick a topic, you know? Is there anything you like? I love boners, do you? Um, I don't know. Is there anything you want to talk about? Not really. Uh, just another uncooperative guy. Just my luck running into three jerks in a row. At least Shiro isn't mocking me. It's obvious that Travis was just making fun of me with that stupid riddle of his. No matter what I ask, those damn demons will always lie. So how on earth can I tell which is which? It's impossible! What? Shira looks at me a bit startled by my sudden declaration. Oh, I'm sorry. I was just thinking. That's kind of new to me. About what? Knights and demons! Awesome shit, man! Demons? Well, not demons exactly. Liars! Knights always tell the truth and demons always tell lies! Oh, you're supposed to ask which person uh, would claim to be the knight? Shiro's face suddenly brightens. Huh? It's a riddle, right? One always tells the truth, the other always lies. Kind of like my mom. Yeah! So you have to ask, would the person uh, with you claim to be a knight? If you ask directly, both the truth teller and the liar would claim to be the knight. So you have to ask about the other one. If the knight answers, he will tell you truthfully that the demon with him will claim to be a knight. If the demon answers, he will lie and say that the person with him won't claim to be a knight. Then you can tell the difference. Shiro smiles proudly as he explains the riddle to me. Ha! Huh, I think I get it, but it's a little complicated. It makes sense, I, I think. Still, you're pretty smart to figure that out. Do you get boners? Huh, what? No, I, I just heard it before. I'm not really that smart. I really like puzzles, you see. It's really a, it's kind of a well-known riddle, though. I see. Shiru, oh, Shiru Mary, I trust if you're getting chatty like this, you've already chosen a topic. From across the room, the teacher eyes us carefully. Oh, sorry! I turn back to Shiro. Should we take a, we should pick a topic, huh? Uh, yeah, okay. You're a little special, aren't you? He's back to his reclusive self again. Why won't boys pay attention to me? We really need to talk about this project, but he seems like he doesn't want to talk. You know what? I'm going to suggest a topic. Why don't we do a report on Greece? I always thought that was kind of fun. Kind of. Um, Greece is a really wide topic. We should probably narrow it down. Okay, what about Athens? That's an important Greek city. We can talk about the Parthenon or something. And it's a focus enough topic for us, right? Right? Uh, yeah, that sounds great. Yeah, absolutely great. I always get the weird chicks. I scribble down Athens in bold letters in the notebook. My work is done for the day. At least we have a topic now. The bell rings and we quickly gather up our books. Um. What's up? Shiro has me a folded sheet of notebook paper. What's this? Oh. It's my email address. We should stay in touch or something. Oh, good idea. Can you send me pictures of boners? I tear the sheet in half, scribble my email address down, and hand it to him. Here you go. He nods and smiles a bit before walking off, clutching his books to his chest. As soon as he leaves, I hear I tear off down the hallway towards the computer lab. As I turn the corner, I nearly collide with another another student, but I quickly skid to a halt and wind my way around him. Sorry! This month, the school is offering an after-school work program for students who want to make extra money. It's only menial tasks like mailing envelopes or calling people names to ask for donations, but I could always use the spare cash. Even though I get allowance on the weekend, more money couldn't hurt. However, the work program doesn't start for another 30 minutes, so now's the perfect time to check on, Ru how, on how Rui's doing. Oh, she's gotta go back to the game. I wait impatiently outside the computer lab as students file out. Does she ever go home? Like, when I was done with school, I was like, it's time to go home. I don't want to stay in this shithole. Finally, I rush in and grab the nearest computer. I wonder if the internet's working again. I'm uh, worried about your game? Travis is standing in the doorway, smirking at me. Why do you care? 
I don't. You just look terribly anxious. I was wondering if it had something to do with that game of yours. Huh. Well, I don't feel like telling you. And by the way, I figured out the answer to the riddle of yours. No doubt it's a fairly common one. After all, I was a bit disappointed that you hadn't heard it already. But uh, I'm no deal breaker. The internet works now, so you can have fun. Did you fix it? No, I just waited and it came back on its own. What did you think I could actually do about that? So you didn't hold up your end of the bargain. You're a liar like the demons. Demon liar. Neither did you, I assume. Are you telling me that someone else didn't tell you the answer to my riddle? Uh, I thought so. See you around. Ugh, what a conceited jerk. I hope he gets his someday. Hopefully he gets run over by a cement mixer. Ooh, logging into Rippenwell. Current promotion traded in 50 fluff a bit paws for a piece of lucky armor. Rui of the Sword is logged in. Game announcement, the PvP match you participated in with player Alistair has been cancelled due to inactivity from both parties. Wait, he must be at the school then if both of our internets went down at the same time. Really? Are you okay? What happened? Hey Fiona, my internet connection dropped. I got back on! Look at me! I got a sword! I was so worried about you. Sorry. So if your connection dropped, does that mean you automatically forfeited to Alistair? Um, it doesn't look like it. Apparently he didn't do anything. Maybe he didn't want such an easy win. Ah, I don't think so. If he was willing to steal our kill, he'd definitely accept an auto forfeit. Oh, then maybe he locked off. Maybe. It seems weird we both drop out at the same time. She's smarter than I thought. Maybe you just got lucky. With boners? What's wrong? Just thinking about boners. Oh, boners. What? What if his connection dropped at the same time because we're both on the same network? I don't understand. Oh. <laughs> Fiona is not the bright one in the group. I lost my connection because the internet died. What if Alistair was using the same internet connection as me? Um, I guess that's a possibility. Where are you? Don't tell her. Don't tell other people on the internet, kids, where you are. At school. The school's now went down for a while. So he would have been logged off like me. Maybe Fiona's really like an old dude. Wait, you think Alistair goes to the same school as you? Where's that school? <laughs> yeah, it all makes sense now. People can lose internet connections for all sorts of reasons. What if his mom told him it was time to go to bed or something? It's the middle of the day. No, it's much too much of a coincidence. It has to be someone at the school. If you say so, but I think that's a stretch. No, it's perfect. That means I'll be able to exact my revenge in real life. Like in real life, she's going to find the guy and like beat the shit out of him? If so, I like our main character at this point. She's like, fuck the game. I'm going to cut your fingers off. Um, how do you plan to do that? What? If you manage to find him, what exactly are you going to do to him? It's not like you can just challenge him to a duel in real life. Oh, uh, well, I guess so. I'll figure that out later, but the important part is... REVENGE! Are you sure about that? That guy deserves to pay for what he did! It's only an item in the game, though. I WILL END HIM! It's not about an item, it's about being courteous online! Like everybody else who's courteous online! I think that's a lot to ask for from people on the internet. <laughs> Just because it's the internet doesn't mean we should give up standards of decency! I actually agree with her. I guess so. But you really shouldn't jump to conclusions, okay? You might do something brash. When have I ever done anything brash? Never mind. Anyway, I wanted to make sure Rui wasn't dead. I gotta get going now. Uh, I'll see you. Later, loser. Rui of the Sword is logged off. Logging off. Oh, out. I log off of Rivenwell online and quickly bring up my school's network list. In the name of trust and honesty, the school keeps closed tabs on all of the students' computer usage. I don't know how much trust it shows, but it's really handy for seeing who's on the network and when. Looking at this afternoon's log, only four students were logged on when the internet dropped. Naturally, I'm one of them. Shira was on, too. Huh. He doesn't really seem like a gamer. Though, he was probably just checking his email. Some guy named Derek Nevin. 
His name sounds familiar, but where have I heard it before? And... Travis! Uh, of course he was online. He was even sitting right behind me, that twat. I wouldn't be too surprised if it was Alistair. They both have rotten personalities. But Travis didn't seem too interested in Riven well online. In fact, he said it was a silly game. Maybe he doesn't play it after all. I guess that leaves Derek. I click on his student profile. She's stalking now. She's stalking people to be like, I'm gonna get revenge. Apparently, he's on the student council. I guess that's where I've heard his name before. He's on the basketball team as well. They're practicing right now, so he's probably there. Is she gonna murder him in the practice court? I hurry down the hallway and stop outside the school gym. I can hear the sounds and echoing a boom of basketball. Slowly, I crack the door open and peer inside. The basketball players are rushing back and forth across the court. The current center of attention seems to be a guy with blonde hair and bright highlights. He races across the court, expertly dribbling the ball and weaves back and forth. I remember seeing posters of him all over school during elections. I guess he's Derek then. He looks like he really knows what he's doing with his ball. Another player leaps in front of him, holding his arms out to block him. Derek pauses for a moment, then grins playfully at fake left before making a dash to the right. Oh, he's dreamy! He skids to a halt in front of the basket as another player moves in to block him. Derek, over here, over here! One of his teammates waves his arm to indicate he's open, but Derek shakes his head and weaves around the player, blocking him. To the cheers of his teammate, he leaps up in the air and dunks the ball into the net. That's enough showing off, Nevin! Take a break! That's the coach. A couple guys surround Derek, clapping him on the back and laughing. Ha! One of them leans towards him and points in my direction. Woman! Oops. I slam the door shut, but not fast enough. A few seconds, the door opens and Derek steps out into the hallway. Like, how fast did Derek run? Did he see a woman, like, peep, and then she closes the door and he, like, tears over there? Woman! Hey, cutie, did you want something? Cutie? Um... Oh, was that too forward? He bursts out laughing. Oh! Oh! Huh, I'm sorry, I'm just a forward kind of guy. It gets me into a lot of trouble. Can I see your vagina now? Especially with cute girls. What? Something wrong? Don't be shy. I'm a really nice guy. Why don't you let me nicely touch your boobs? You can come in and watch this practice if you want. You can watch me in the shower. It's a show. It's not that. Oh, so you do speak? That's great. So what's your name? Meru. Sweet. I like girls with names. <laughs> he nods back at the gym door. I'd love to stay in chat, but Coach probably wants me back in a few. Was there something you wanted? Like my boner? I just had a few questions. Nothing important, no. Hey, I'm vice president. Anything from a member of the student body is important. And you know what? I'm liking your student body. It's, it's not exactly about school, though. Oh, that's even more interesting. Why don't we talk about it at the mall? We could call it a date if you want. Whoa, he's a poon hound. He doesn't even know her. And he's like, yo, let's go to the mall. <laughs> is this guy actually asking me on a date? He hardly even knows me. I guess he's kind of cute, though. Not really. He's got bad taste, Mayru. Ugh, no, focus. What if he's Alistair? I never want to... No, come on. You're going to fall for him. He's going to be an asshole to you. And then you're going to complain to all your friends. Why is my boyfriend an asshole? I'm going to stay with him, though. <laughs> I'd never be able to forgive myself if I went on a date with him. What should I do? Uh, agree to a date. Well, I guess a date doesn't sound like a bad idea. Remember to bring your boner. Cool. We'll work out the details later. Your email address is in the student directory, right? That seems like a bad idea to have all the students' email addresses in the directory so everyone can, like, stalk each other and harass each other. Um, yeah! Then we'll be in touch. I hope to be touching you soon. He winks at me before heading back into the gym. Catch you later, Meiru. I hope it's not Marui. I, I don't know how to pronounce things. Oi! I didn't get to ask him what I wanted to. Oh, well, at least we'll be able to talk later. For now, I should probably get to work. I spend the next hour folding and sealing envelopes in the school's office. It's not exactly the most glamorous job in the world, but money is money, and I can't complain about that. After the office closes, I head home. Are we gonna go, and go to the mall? I got a date with a boy! As soon as I get home, I turn to my computer, I my computer on and check my email. Okay, what about our project from Shiro? Uh, Meru, there isn't much. Mayro, there isn't much of an Athens on the internet, so I bought a couple of books that I think would be useful. Ah, oh, what a nice guy. He bought them. How is there nothing useful on the internet about Athens? 
Does he not know how to use the internet? If you find any more, you should get them. It would also be a good idea if we could meet up sometime to discuss our project. You should come over to my place sometime so we can talk about it more. I'll give him points. He's trying to get him her into his house. Hey, Rivenwell, there's a new month, and you all know what that means. New rare items. Look cool and gain extra ice damage with the new Winter Frost Blade for Knights. Demons will find a horned helm to be a fine addition to their arsenal. The glorious Halo will give extra healing power to angels. Guardians should pick up some volcanic armor for extra fire defense. These items will only be available for a month, so buy a point card and get yours now. I searched for information on Anthos online, but there really isn't much. Have you guys never heard of Google? Some history, some mythology, and a little bit of info on the culture, but nothing very deep. she was right. Nobody actually lives in Athens or writes about it on the internet. I actually have to get some books or something, huh? I copy and paste a few interesting facts, but my attention wanders pretty quickly. I'm, th I'm still thinking about what happened today. Fine, if I can't concentrate on this, I might as well just log on. Maybe hacking away at monsters will calm me down. Oh wait, there's a stats thing here? Oh, I didn't know that! So we have $50, 5 network reputation, 5 social reputation, 5 intelligence, we're apparently not very smart, and the current time is null set. Zero. Logging on. Really of the sword is logged on. Hi, Rui! Hey, Fiona, how's it going? I'm doing well, taking a break, and you? I'm procrastinating on my homework! Homework's for dweebs! Our era, are you- I don't know how to pronounce that, I've seen that phrase in other things. Are you sure that's a good idea? Oh, get off my ass, Fiona! I'll be fine, besides I need to blow off some steam! Wanna be at a party with me for a while? Yeah, sure, we're friends! Fiona Wings has joined your team. Where should we go? Well, I think there's a promotion going on in the Morose Mountains right now. Then let's get going! Morose Mountains? Teleported to the Morose Mountains. Well, 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 if it isn't the lovely Rui, come for the promotion, I assume. Ah, oh, what are you doing here? Killing adorable bunny-like creatures until the game awards me with a new costume. Fuck the bunnies. What does it look like? You know what I meant? No, not, not, not really. Rui, let's just go. The mountains are big enough for us to stay far away from this guy. You should listen to your friend. She's clearly more forward-thinking than you are. Are you calling me stupid? Um, what do you think? Well, for your information, I'm not as stupid as I look. Rui? In fact, I already know who you are in real life. What? <laughs> he's gonna be scared now because he's realized he's got a stalker. Are you scared now? You can be sure that when I see you at school tomorrow, I'll, you'll get yours! What do these do? Oh no, I didn't mean to do that. At school? Uh oh. Aha! I see the internet crash during lunch, huh? So you must be Mayor Mayru. What was that? Mayrui. Ah, I forgot how I was pronouncing her name! What? Oh come on, Rui of the Sword, Mayru? Mayrui? Ah oh, fuck, whatever. It's pretty obvious. And since we only met today, your name is still fresh in my mind. But it's only fair, right, since you know who I am, after all. Of course I do! <laughs> He's like, uh? N no, you don't. If you did, you would have done something by now. You still haven't figured out exactly who I am, have you? I will! She's not good at lying. She's not good at lying. She could have kept the lie going on, maybe get him to reveal more. Hmm, sounds like this might be fun. What? Let's make a deal. If you can figure out who I am, sometime in the next month, I'll give you my blessed stone. You mean my blessed stone! Whatever, suits your fancy. But if you can't figure it out, then you'll fork over all the gold you make for the next month. Ha! As if! I accept your deal! Really don't! Ah, uh, such confidence. At least you have that much going for you. Oh, but it's getting so late, don't you think? I'll see you tomorrow, Rui. Alistair's logged off. Really? Why'd you do that? Ugh, that guy seriously ticks me the fuck off! And I'm not going to let him just get away with that being a jerk online! But what if you lose? Don't worry, I won't! 
At the most, I know where. Ah! At the most, I know there were only three other people online. I just have to figure out which one of them plays Riven Rivenwell online. You know what she could do if she was smart is just go up to each one of them individually and be like, I know you're Alistair. I won the bet. <laughs> like, how would the other ones know? <sighs> Rui, you really do leap into things without thinking, you know? <laughs> that's, why, that's why I have you to back me up. I can always count on you to bail me out of a bad situation. I wish you'd be a little more careful on your own, though. I won't always be around to save you. <laughs> that's enough of this glum talk. Let's kill some bodies! Okay, yay! Fiona and I play for a few hours, destroying buddies, slapping their heads off and their tails before exchanging farewells and logging off. That's a creepy sticker. It's like, ha, ah, sticker! <laughs> so I get ready for bed, I think back on today's events. Only Travis, Shiro, and Derek were online, so it must be one of them. Travis seems to hate Rivenwell online. He acts like it's beneath him because he's a serious gamer. But he might just be trying to save face in front of the other serious gamers. He has a position as club president, after all. Shiro doesn't seem like a gamer at all. Besides, he's so shy. I doubt he and Alistair are the same person. Shiro seems nice, though. The other two seem a little... Shiro seems nice. I don't know about Travis. Derek seems kind of like a dick. Then get some of the nicest people turned rotten into rotten jerks online. Playing online might be his way of blowing off steam or something. As for Derek, I really don't know anything about him yet, besides the fact that he's vice president of the school. What does the vice president do anyway? Does he wait for the school president to be murdered to take his place? Well, it doesn't really matter in the end. I'll figure out which one it is tomorrow anyway. Alright, it's day one Monday. We've got five intelligence, five social reputation, five network, and we got fitty bones. I think I'll save what happens next for the next episode. So thank you for watching, everybody, and take it easy.